Well, I was hitchhiking. And uh, I was picked up by this man who seemed like a nice enough person. And when it came to my stop, uh, he wouldn't let me off. And I really got scared then. So at the next light, I thought I'd try and get out or something. But he grabbed my arm and said something like, um, I'll hurt you bad if you try and get out. So he took me to a parking lot. And uh, he raped me and pushed me out of the car. I, I really felt bad about it. But more than that, I was, I was angry at myself for not being able to do anything about it and feeling totally helpless. The FBI reports that there is a violent crime every 43 seconds in this country. That means a murder, a rape, a robbery, or an assault with intent to kill. Too many women feel there is nothing they can do to protect themselves if they're attacked. But there's no reason for a woman to feel helpless. There are many simple and practical ways for a woman to protect herself regardless of her size or strength. But self-protection goes beyond physical defense skills. It also means knowing how to avoid danger before it develops. Purse snatching is one of the most common crimes against women. Hold your purse firmly, close to your body. Always keep it with you when shopping, even while trying on shoes or clothes. If a thief knows that you're on guard, he will look for an easier victim. I was downtown trying on some shoes in one of the department stores, and I had laid my purse next to the chair. And when I got up trying on the shoes to see if they fit, I came back and my purse was gone. So I went to the manager to report the purse missing. And he told me he would call me when, you know, if they found it. So I went back home, and then I received a phone call from the store to come down there. They had found my purse. So I went down there, and they said that they hadn't called me. So then I went back home in hopes that eventually they would find my purse. And when I walked in, my place had just been ransacked. It was just a mess. Evidently, they had gotten in with my key. Things were just thrown around. It was just really a mess. Things were missing. And it was bad enough having my purse stolen, but then to have my house just, it was just a mess. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't be unfriendly. If someone bothers Come you in a public now. place, ignore him. Me. If he persists, tell him to leave you alone and tell him in a good, loud voice. Just beat it. If you show anger, he'll probably stop bothering you. If this doesn't work, walk toward other people and away from places where you might get cornered. If you have to walk alone at night, stay out in the open, near light and people. Avoid areas where assailants might hide, like shrubbery, dark doorways, and between parked cars. If someone harasses you from a moving car, simply turn and walk the other way. If the person is persistent or obscene, Write down the license number and report it to the police. If you are confronted by an assailant and have no way to escape, try to stay calm. If he wants your purse or your valuables, give them to him. They aren't worth risking your life. Don't do anything to upset the assailant unless you must defend yourself. If you have a big dog, take him with you when you're out alone. He may deter a possible mugger. But only properly trained guard dogs can be relied upon for protection. These dogs are taught to attack on command. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm from the gas company. We're in the neighborhood looking for gas leaks. It's a routine check of thermostats and pilot lights. It'll only take a few minutes and there's no charge. May I come in? Um, do you have any identification? Ma'am, it's a gas company. Uh, yes, I, I have a car. Just a minute. Be suspicious of anyone who wants to enter your home, no matter how official he looks. 
Check his identification with the company he works for and don't be intimidated. For all you know, he might be planning to rob or to assault you. This is 541 Moraga Drive. Do you have a serviceman in this area checking uh, gas leaks? I do not. Thank you very much. This is 541 Moraga Drive. Will you get me the police, please? For a woman living alone, there are few precautions more important than having a safe home. A good start is to put only your last name and initials on the mailbox. A woman's first name makes it obvious that she lives alone. A strong lock is a good investment. Ordinary spring locks like this can be opened by any amateur burglar. A deadbolt lock of this type gives much greater protection. The best ones require a key on both sides. Leave a key in the door while you're home so you can get out quickly in case of fire. A chain is very useful, but no substitute for a good lock. Here's a simple way to secure a sliding glass door with an inexpensive doll. Tie a string to it for easy removal. For sliding windows, a length of curtain rod will serve the same purpose. You can buy commercial locking devices for any style of window. An optical viewer or porthole like this allows you to see who's at the door before you open it. When you leave home, turn on the porch light if you're returning after dark. An unlit doorway is a likely place for attack. Security measures like these discourage crime. If you make it difficult for an intruder to break into your home, he will pass it by for one that is easier. The same thing is true of your car. Make sure all the doors are locked when you leave it. Put anything that might be stolen in the trunk where it can't be seen. When you return, have your keys ready before you reach the car so you can get in quickly. It's also wise to check the back seat for any uninvited passengers. If anyone approaches you as you park, stay in the car with the doors locked until he leaves. Want to make it up to my place? If you're in danger, use your horn as an alarm. Hey, what's all the racket about? Don't be afraid to annoy people. That's exactly what you want to do. The other night I was standing looking out my window and uh, I saw a man come down and look in the neighbor's window. It was one of those warm nights I had my window open and there's vines in, uh, in front of my window, so I just stood there and watched to see what he was doing. And he come over to my window and started to look in and I screamed, get the gun. And I didn't have any gun, but he sure run and was, he frightened and I was too. There wasn't anyone there to bring me a gun. Not everyone is this lucky. If you see a prowler on your property, call the police at once. Don't let the prowler see you unless he actually tries to break in. If he does try to break in, scream as loud as you can so your neighbors will hear you. The last thing a prowler wants is noise that will attract a crowd. Perhaps you've thought about buying a gun for self-defense. Although authorities disagree about whether or not a gun is a good defense, they all agree that every gun owner must have competent instruction in the handling of firearms. Unless you have been taught how to handle a gun, you're more likely to injure yourself or a friend than protect yourself with it. Find a good instructor before you consider buying a gun. Hello? If you receive an obscene phone call, hang up at once. If the calls persist, notify the police and have your number changed. People who use the telephone to harass women often find their victims in the directory. A woman's name in the phone book usually means that she lives alone. 
This is an invitation to harassment. Use only your initials and your last name. Hello? Hello, is this Susan Sterling, 218 Oakwood Drive? Yes, it is. My name is Richard Quinn. I'm with Network Television Survey. Could I ask you a few questions? I guess so. Are you watching television right now? It's on, but I'm not really watching it. I see. Then someone else in the family is watching television. No, there's no one here but me. Do you live alone? Yes. Do you usually watch television alone in the evenings? Mm, most of the time, yes. What program's on your television right now? It's an old movie. Thank you very much. That's all I need to know. Good night. Good night. Never give information about yourself to a stranger on the telephone. It's especially important not to reveal that you are home alone. A woman driving alone is often a target for assault. Keep all your car doors locked and the windows up. Make sure no one can reach in and grab your purse or unlock the door. At night, stay on well-traveled, well-lit roads if possible. Keep your car in good mechanical condition and have plenty of gas so you won't get stranded. If you do have car trouble, pull well off to the side of the road and turn your emergency flashers on. A white flag and a raised hood are recognized as signals of distress. Lock yourself in the car and wait for help. Stall car. Yeah. Having trouble with your car? Something happened to my car. I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, hop in. We'll take you down to the gas station. Well, I would rather stay here with it. If you could send somebody back, I would well, appreciate that. Hey, What's I've got a better idea. Uh, the gas station's closed. I know because I live right down the street here. We go over to my place and call the cops from there. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, hop in. No I'd problem. Stay here with it. But if you could send somebody, I'd well, really it, appreciate that. No. Uh. It may be a long wait, but it's much safer to stay locked in your car until the police or a tow truck arrives. You're asking for trouble if you accept a ride from a stranger or start out on foot. So far, you have seen many ways to protect yourself by avoiding trouble before it starts. But even if you are cautious and alert, you may find yourself in a situation where you have to fight for your life. Escape is the main objective of self-defense. Whatever you can do to throw the attacker off guard may give you time to get away. A defense might be as simple as screaming or throwing something in his face. Some defense skills may seem vicious, but you might need to use them to escape with your life. Almost anything you can get your hands on may be used to defend yourself. If you have a purse like this, it can be used as a weapon if you grasp it firmly with both hands in this manner and use it in a quick jabbing fashion to strike the face. Be sure to hold the purse firmly so it can't be taken away from you and never swing it by the strap as it can be blocked very easily. There are many things in your purse that can be effective weapons. A teasing brush or a rat tail comb, for example. Hold it with both hands and use it in an upward jabbing thrust. Aim for the face, neck, or midsection. Actually, any rigid object in your purse could be used as a weapon. You should have your keys in hand as you approach your car or home. They can serve as a very good defense weapon. Holding the keys firmly in this manner, they can be scraped across the assailant's face or used to gouge any exposed skin. Be sure not to hold your hand like this, as the keys will slip between your fingers and do more damage to you than to the attacker. Instead, strike this way, so the keys are supported by your fingers. A book is very good when held tightly like this, with both hands. The nose is a good place to hit, but any part of the face will do. You don't have to be strong to strike a hard blow, coming up like this. A 
A magazine seems harmless enough, but rolled tightly and held firmly with both hands, it becomes a weapon. Jab it into the midsection just below the ribs. Move fast and hang on tight. Carry the magazine rolled, as there is no time to do this once you are attacked. An umbrella is used in the same manner as the magazine. Jab with the pointed end and remember to hang on and move quickly. If it is raining and your umbrella is open, you can push it at the attacker and run. It will delay him for a second and give you a head start. Some people carry tear gas, mace, horn alarms, and even hairspray for self-defense. The use of such weapons may be a felony in your state, and people have seriously injured themselves attempting to use these devices. If you must defend yourself, remember, Surprise is essential. Scream as loud as you can, be quick, and fight with all your strength. Some attackers will actually be frightened by an aggressive reaction. If the assailant has a gun or other weapon, there's not much you can do without risking your life. Try not to show your fear. Cooperate until you can find a way to call for help or escape. A woman can defend herself against attack even if she is smaller and weaker than her assailant. If you hold the heel of your hand this way, you can strike a very forceful blow. Shove up hard underneath the chin, or better yet, the nose, which is very sensitive to pain. Hit as hard as you can and make your getaway before he recovers. Your fist becomes a powerful weapon when you know how to use it. Make a tight fist being very careful to place your thumb on the outside rather than under your fingers. Hit hard with the bottom edge, not the knuckles. Get a good swing and aim for the side of the jaw, the temple, or come down hard on the nose. A woman can exert a lot of force by jabbing with her elbow. If you are grabbed from behind, twist your body and hit hard against the side of the face. Perhaps the most effective skill you can learn is a simple kick. Aim for the attacker's knee. This is a highly vulnerable joint and can be dislocated easily by a vigorous kick. Lift your knee as high as you can, then kick sharply. Keep your arms out and lean to the side for balance. If the attacker is holding you, you can make him release you by grinding your heel on his instep. This technique works just as well when you are attacked from the front. The knee lift is a good defense if you do it properly. Put your leg way back, then bring it up fast. Make sure you do it right the first time. The windmill is a technique that can save your life if you are being strangled. If the attacker is facing you, raise both arms and twist your body. Remember that your elbow must pass over his arms. As you twist, his hands will be pried off your throat. It works the same way if you are strangled from behind. Raise both arms. Twist around quickly with your arms passing over his. Then follow up with a blow to his head to give yourself time to escape. Practice these skills until you can do them fast and effectively. The suggestions and skills you have seen are simple ones that you can use without much practice. If you want to learn more, take one of the excellent courses in self-defense which are now being offered. The courses can be fun, and the self-confidence you gain is well worth the effort. There is no reason for you to accept the idea that you are helpless in the face of danger just because you're a woman. Know how to protect yourself and be sure that you are nobody's victim.